I have an announcement to make. I am on a robotics team. Wow. I have been meaning to say that for four years now, and up until now I've been worried about what others thought about me, and I didn't want to be different, so I didn't tell anyone. I wish I had been encouraged at a young age to pursue STEM, but I wasn't, so that is why it has taken me so long to come out of my robotic shell. I'm a varsity cheerleader and the president of student council. I talk to people all the time, but I've been worried they would judge me because I'm in robotics. But it is such a big part of my life, and this is how I got started. In seventh grade, my dad came home one day and said, I'm starting a middle school robotics team and you're gonna be on it. I was mad. I thought robotics was something super smart guys did in their free time, but I really had no choice, so I begrudgingly gave it a shot. That is probably the best thing that has ever happened to me. My first year, our team was chaos, which stood for kids acting out science. There were three girls and seven boys, and we were all just eager to build and try new things. Five years later, I am still in robotics. We build these huge robots, and it is so much fun. My team is 4776 ScotsBots. Both of these teams are part of a huge organization called First Robotics. First is home to over 72,000 teams worldwide. And this has broken me from the stereotype that women can't do robotics or anything STEM related. My role on the team is the drive coach. This means during any given match, it is my job to tell my driver and manipulator what to do. This means I have to have a lot of knowledge on what my robot and what every other robot can do on, during the field. So, what I have to do is know the truth about the robots, because some teams, they lie about what the robots can do, and other times, they tell the truth. So it's my job to know what each team can do so we can yield the most points to win any match. Flashback to last April. My team qualified for the state championship. This is a huge deal. The top 160 out of 500 teams in Michigan qualify. Our team, we were solid, and our chances of advancing the state championship were within our reach. We ended up ranked seventh, and this allowed us to form our own alliance so that we can try and compete to win our division and move on. We picked two teams and soon began to strategize. So we picked our teams, and we were talking strategy, and I was the only girl among eight boys. We were going over the strategy and one guy cuts me off and he says, how about you let the men talk and go get me a sandwich? I have never felt so belittled in my life like this comment has made me. I thought that my generation was the one to get over the idea that women belong in the kitchen, but I guess I was wrong. A friend of mine is on a robotics team where she is not allowed to touch the robot for the sole reason that she is a female. To be on a team and to not do what the program is all about just doesn't seem right. I believe we need to change that for this generation. In the past, you would just have to overcome such things like, I couldn't do this because I'm a female. This is time for a change. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics. STEM. 47% of the overall workplace employees are females, but they only make up 28% of the science and engineering fields. Think of the women in your life. What is their job? How many women do you know that are engineers? We as a society claim we want more women in these fields, but the truth is, the men dominating these fields are not as on board. If I were to go around the high school and ask girls at random why they don't join the robotics team, the most common answer I will get is I'm not smart enough. The thing is, you don't have to be smart to know STEM. STEM is a state of mind. It's a way of life. Everybody can learn it. If I, sorry, at five years old, that is when children develop their creativity and are eager to try new things. This makes kindergarten the perfect age to begin teaching kids STEM. So, in fifth grade, at five years old, through fifth grade, we teach kids engineering and science through programs like our Young Engineers Club and the work of a group called STEM Sisters. Young Engineers Club is a group hosted at our local library, and our goal there is to empower kids in science, engineering, and STEM. With this, we build Lego Mindstorms, we create scribble bots, and we make boats out of limited materials to carry out the most amount of marbles. Through this program, we've affected over 500 students, and that number grows every summer. 
As for our STEM sisters, this is a group whose goal is to empower women of all ages. Through this, what we do is we empower women through having professional speakers talk and empowering young girls with STEM-related activities. With this, we hope to make more girls interested in STEM and spark a love. And from that love, we hope to guide girls towards our Young Engineers Club and programs like our middle school, elementary, and high school robotics teams. First is such an amazing program where once you get started, you won't want to stop. I never thought in a million years that I'd begin robotics, but that is why it is so important that I'm talking about it now. I have always loved robotics, and I didn't want to tell people. So if I didn't want to do it, and I didn't tell people, there is no way we could get more girls in STEM. I am more than qualified to have a seat at the table, and so is every other woman. I volunteer at the lower levels of FIRST so that they can see that I'm doing robotics and realize they can too. Howell started five years ago with one girl on a high school team. In five years, we have grown with a school, with every school in the district having a team, and 63 females are in our organization, and 90, 94 have been involved. That number grows every season. I was ashamed, and I wish the girls of this generation can be more confident so that they can realize they can do robotics more than I realized I could. Not every girl will be an engineer or a mathematician, but no girl should feel like she is not smart enough to give STEM a try. Robotics and STEM is for everyone. It just takes giving it a try. Thank you for your time.